and we are back with 1023. So nothing really all that amazing to really add about the video game industry. Um, oh, uh, Spider-Man 2 is currently the PlayStation's fastest selling game of all time. So, I mean, I think we kind of all expected that. So good for that. Um, what else to talk about? Honestly, nothing really comes to mind. So I was on Reddit today. And look, I know it's a cesspool of just people arguing, but I look, I have nothing better to do when I'm sitting there waiting for the machines to turn on. So, I was on Reddit today, and someone was like, oh man, I miss when catching legendaries meant something and when shinies meant something. To which I was like, motherfucker, what do you mean? I feel like people are so blinded by nostalgia when it comes to the earlier gens that they forget how bad some things were. Like, they were like, oh man, catching legendaries was so much better back in the day. Motherfucker, you had to learn a new language to catch the legendaries of Gen 3. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't remember to catch, Re to originally catch Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel, you had to learn Braille, legitimate Braille, to figure out their puzzle. So what the fuck are people talking about? It's nuts. Either way, we're gonna hang out with twins because we have nothing else to do what today. What are you gonna do today? No. So, yeah. So you have to actually go to the location once before you can trigger it. What will you do? You mean the maid cafe? Hmm. What is this? What makes a cafe maid? Is it the slaves? I want to find out. Guide She'll me, do that just to. I don't know why, but the concept of talking about slaves when there's just a black dude like two steps away is just funny to me. We shall do that. Inmate, take us there immediately. Art. Would children be allowed in a maid cafe? Oh. So this is the slave camp. The course was really cheery for such a horrid place. The surprise is one is operating in the heart of a city like this. I had originally thought such places would be need to hide in the shadows, far from public scrutiny. Welcome home. I can nope. Are you addressing me? You are solely mistaken about who is your master. We've come here to observe fully, Justine. Don't worry, we're free here when we're finished. Oh, uh, okay, at least you're gonna try to free these slaves. Hey, you! I, no, I can't do it. Tell me, why are you grinning like that? You're a slave. What do you mean, master? I, oh, uh, maybe you're ordered to smile, but what? Do you like a will rebellion? Are you naturally submissive? What is this a several hey inmate? Do you really think you get proper rehabilitation here? So I feel like these are the proper answers, but I had to do this one. <laughs> what was that? Did you get executed? Maybe. Caroline. Huh. Calm yourself, Caroline. Why aren't you just the cutest? Watch it. You think you're laughing at your master's just proper discipline? The disciplinary service? Jesus Christ. Is there you little shrimp? What? what? Quick gawk at me in order already. You wanna get jabbed with one of those tiny little shrimp works out with it. He's truly thrown off the yoke of depression. I mean I mean if that's your thing, look, I'm not here to judge. We we've already had an earlier episode talk about what kind of make cafe I would personally like to go to. Like, literally, legitimately, my friend so sent me a link to that place, and I'm like, yeah, I need to go there. What'd I say? Order. Or do you need a menu? If you can even read. What is that? Little baby can't read a menu? Just ah. <sighs> the use of service, actually. Absolutely. Jesus Christ. <laughs> a literal switch. What's wrong with her? Her mood changes instant. <sighs> Such versatility. Could she possess the potential of the power of a wild card? Well, never mind that. We were to focus on the matter at hand. What could this be? Love pancake? What do they put in it? At least fishes, I hope. It's a surprise. Could this be a form of some kind of call Russian roulette? We cannot risk the odds of being poisoned. Let's order something else. In that case, we'll get the sincere omelet. I, I... Oh, sorry about that. How joking? dare you? Fix this right now. You can beg for a few once I repeat a properly uh, sincere meal. Damn Don't it. even try that freight cry act with me. Fix it. Double time. I'm not letting you off until it's right. I can't. I can't. Don't make me. Guys, don't make me read it. I'm sorry. 
Hey! How could you make this poor slave cry like that? Well, fine, I'll say I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, say, I mean, mate, I'm sorry. I'll eat it, I'll eat it. Just stop crying. <laughs> does, does that actually work? Ooh, hot tea to go along with it. I recommend taking the relaxing coffee. Promise to pour all my heart into making. I I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I could not work. I couldn't go here. This has been so tiresome. Even the people being served in a certain way. I don't comprehend why it's so complicated. Yet people are willing to pay good money to partake in this master service throughout. The lengths that humans would hold to go to hold positions of power. The desires truly appear to be limitless. Anyway. We hereby deem your assignment complete. Here's your reward. Oh. Oh! So the uh, shield break and remove buff, remove debuffs, remove buffs. In fact, this isn't even a new event for us at this point. We do seem to witness curious new facets of humanity with each special assignment we undertake. Most intriguing indeed. But the only thing that matters to you is your rehabilitation, and don't you forget it. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder who the next confidants or next uh, velvet room attendants will be. Oh, cool! It's actually staying at twenty-five percent. Can I? What does this think he's doing? He's just trying to get popular, isn't he? He wants to stand out. Is her brother some fan of these already? I'm curious. It seems like he knows something. I bet he found some really juicy secret. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking Akechi-kun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network, and I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite Akechi-kun? Should be fun. Okay then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally rather than simply a source of information. Hold on. How are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Actually, I do. For real? Could you send that my way, please? I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't going to do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we going to do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. No, Damn it. <sighs> Who would have thought we'd end up relying on a catchy? Nice. All right, what are my options for today? Can't do Sojuro. Can't do Iowa. Can't do Chihaya. Uh, 
Oh, God, man. Ugh, I'll make this work. Get a fortune reading. What shall we do? Can you do it for I guess Iowa just to be safe. That way I shouldn't need to do it again, I believe. I don't know. Here we go. People have done like comprehensive charts to like actually map out this entire game down to a T, but you know. I'm kind of using my general knowledge of the game to try to min-max. I think I should be able to make it. We'll see, though. Please don't take off my mask. Huh? At least we can hang with the twins. Wait, can we hang with the twins? What are you gonna do today? No. One halfway attached from this world, said to be the time spent there, is like that of a dream. Men and women of age swarm to the land, forgetting reality in search of happiness and wonder. This sounds like a similar form of escaping as the fantasies we saw in the movie theater. A central trap that it ensorrows humans. If such a tr place truly exists, then we must observe it with our actions ourselves. Oh, it's the, um, Disneyland. Destinyland. Whatever. What'll you do? Not right now. Or at least, we'll probably do it tomorrow. Also, I just noticed the Halloween, uh, decorations. Is Halloween a thing in Japan? Or is this just for the sake of Americans? Funnily enough, it's because of Tokyo, <laughs> because of Disneyland. <laughs> Halloween continues to grow in popularity in Japan. It burst onto the scene in 2000 when Tokyo Disneyland hosted its first Halloween event. It was a triumph and other theme parks followed suit. Now Halloween is one of the biggest events on the calendar held, of course, on October 31st. What are the odds, right? Uh, either way. And with that, I want everyone to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow we'll get to go to Mementos. I don't know, man. Either way, for right now, I am out. Later.